Hey guys, there is a spider in my closet and it's the worst and um, someone needs to come over and take care of it, someone who's tall um, and is nice to spiders. Just put it in one of my, put it in one of my, um, what's in my collarinos? I'm really tired. Uh, glass, glass fucking cup, just put it in my glass cup. Take it outside, fling it, be like, bitch. I don't want to kill you, but you gotta pay rent if you're gonna live here. That's how I feel, you know, it's just how I feel. I feel like I also forgot to uh, destroy and delete my last vlog, so I'm probably gonna stop in the middle and have to delete that because my phone's gonna be full. 100% chance, 100% chance. Um, I just got done streaming and it sucks because I only streamed like one hour because someone DDoS'd me and it sucks because I thought that there was no more DDoS problems. Um, and I used to be on a DNS server, but I'm not anymore because, um, the guy who was hosting the server just stopped hosting it or whatever. So now I have to get some, like, Amazon Cloud thing or whatever, I don't know. If you guys have any, um, like, suggestions for what the best, um, DDoS prevention for Skype or whatever it would be, uh, you should let me know. I, I hate that people do that, I feel like it's such a pathetic thing to do, and... Like, it makes no fucking sense. Like, wh who wastes their time doing that? And then it's like, it doesn't really actually affect me. It's just like, oh, another DDoS attack. And like, just makes me feel bad for the people who have the time or care about doing that. It's like, come on, brah. Get a life. Get a life. Um, also, what was I going to talk about? I'm wearing my corset today. Yeah. Um, I picked... Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna talk about. Um, I was having fun streaming today. I was getting up to, um, a more normal amount of numbers, um, for my stream viewers and stuff, and I was excited about that, and I could interact more with the fans and stuff. And now I'm sad because I got DDoS and I can't stream, um, until tomorrow or whatever. But it's whatever. I'm gonna go to Sherry's, which is this, like, um... It's kind of like Denny's or like IHOP, but it's a little more hometowny. I don't know if it's only in the Pacific Northwest or what, but we're gonna go there and they make the they make like their whole thing, like IHOP is pancakes, their whole thing is pies, and um, they make these things called pie shakes where they put like ice cream and a pie in a blender and then you like get like chunks of pie. And I really like the peanut butter chocolate one; it tastes really good. Yeah. But, um, I'm gonna keep wearing my corset, because if you guys don't know, uh, corset and waist training, uh, it's like body reshaping, but it also helps you lose weight because, um, you, your stomach can only eat a certain amount while you're wearing it, and, um, so it kind of helps you eat littler portions throughout the day and stuff like that, which is helpful, but I don't really need it too much. I don't feel like I eat very much, um, unless, you know... I go out and it's my one time going out in a while or whatever. I just need to like be more consistent with going to the gym, but it's so hard with like modeling and the gaming stuff and all that. Also, I've been having so much fun with my Losing My Virginity series. Papers, Please is like one of my like obsessions right now. That game is so bad. It's good. I don't know how to explain it, but um, basically you should go over to my gaming channel, youtube.com slash modeltearbabcock, um, and look at my second to newest. Does that make sense? Um, not today's video, but yesterday's video. Um, and it's called Losing My Virginity Papers, Please. And the game is basically about you're, like, in, like, Soviet Russia or some shit, and you're at, like, uh, you're doing, like, Border Patrol. And it starts out easy. All you have to do is get, like, like, only citizens are allowed in, and they need a passport, and it has to be valid. So you check all that. And then, um, the point is to get enough money and do it quick enough to feed your family and your family gets sick a lot and they get cold and rent goes up and you have to upgrade your booth and all this stuff so it's like really interesting. Haha, -ha, what the fuck did I tell you bitches? I knew I would stop in the middle and have to delete a video because my shit would be full. Ugh, so stupid. Let me take a picture. There we go, that's my thumbnail. That's my thumbnail. I'm not wearing my contacts today. So anyway, um, Papers, Please is like an obsession of mine. I was playing it on stream extra, um, more than just Losing My Virginity. It's funny how a lot of people get really pissed off at the, at the title, Losing My Virginity. They're like, oh, it looks like you're losing your virginity a lot. And they think that it's just like, that's the name of the one video. They don't understand that it's like a, 
like a series that I'm doing where I play a game for the first time ever with no knowledge of it and just kind of try to make it as not messy as possible. And I think it's an amazing, like an amazing, um, what is, what is the word? I'm so fucking tired. Holy shit. I'm like extra stupid. Uh, like it's an amazing relation to like having sex for the first time and losing your virginity for the first time and playing a game for the first time. Like you're awful at it. You suck at it and you want to do it really bad, but then it's like harder than you thought. And then the subsequent times you're just like, wow, this was so easy. And, um, that's what the Losing My Virginity series is about. I don't look up the games or watch the gameplay or, um, like have played the game before. It's all like new stuff to me and it's exciting and new, but I'm going to be awful at it. And like watching me try to figure things out is both frustrating and entertaining at the same time. And that's what I'm trying to get at with that series. But a lot of people are like, oh my god, are you just digging for viewers? Like, do you not know anything about me? Everything about me is like super hypersexual and open and funny and ironic and all of those things. And I don't understand why people don't get that. They just think I'm like, literally like, hmm, what could I say that would make me get the most clicks? Oh, tits! And it's like, come on, please, kill yourself twice because you're, you're just bad at life. Like, find a good troll that is actually funny and makes people laugh instead of just sounding stupid. <laughs> um, uh, what else is new? Tomorrow's Friday Night Magic. I'm going to be playing Mono Green Devotion, I guess. Um, this guy, Brad, who's, like, super good at magic. He's, like, one of the um, more veteran magic players. He said he would uh, let me borrow Mono Green. I don't, like, I don't want to play green at all in magic, but... It's like, I might as well try it, and if I'm gonna try it, it's gonna be when I don't have to build it myself and, you know, pay for all the cards and stuff, or, like, trade for all the cards when I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So, I, I might surprise myself and I might end up liking it. I don't know, you know, it could happen, right? It could happen. Come on, make me feel better. Because literally every deck that matters is, like, one to three colors, but one of the colors is green. So it's either mono green or, you know, green, red, or fucking green, red, white, or green, red, black, and it's like, what the fuck? Leave me alone, green. Leave me alone, Corsair of Crufix and Mana Dorks, and all that shit I don't like. Court calling. Bleh. I don't want it. I don't want the life gain. It's stupid. I'm just gonna be playing a bunch of, like, mirrors. I feel like at this point, if aggro wasn't shut down so hard, I would just play aggro and kill face. But yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about. So if you guys have any tips on um, DDoS prevention, or if you want to uh, check out my gaming channel for the Losing My Virginity series, I played Beat Hazard. Beat Hazard was the one I uploaded today, um, which seems pretty awesome as well. It's really cool because, like, you play a game that's formulated just with, like, the wavelengths and rhythms and stuff of the songs that are on your computer. So I was playing with Amona Marth, which was fucking awesome! And, um, like, I, there was this, like, big snake thing that's like... And, um, it's really cool. It's like a shooter spaceship alien game, like, you know, Space Invaders or something. Or any of those kinds of games back in the day, but with really good graphics. The one thing is that it's the most epilepsy-inducing fucking game I've ever seen in my entire life. So if you go over to my gaming channel and watch Beat Hazard, literally don't watch it if you have, like, if you have epilepsy or if you get seizures. It's, like, crazy. And I turned up the intensity up to 200%, so it's, like, extra super crazy. Well, uh, I'm gonna go, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Probably tomorrow. Bye, guys. I've missed you. Oh, my God, I've missed you. Oh.